Well, now that we know Steve is in, we can look back to all the other leagues to see who predicted who's gonna be in. And who's this? What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. Well, yesterday, we talked all about Ryu Hayabusa, one of my favorite characters of all time that is supposedly coming to Smash Brothers Ultimate if a couple of leaks are to be believed, and of course, Vergaben. But today, something else very interesting has jumped out of nowhere, and that is, of course, Doom Slayer. Yes, Doom Slayer rips and tears, and there's a lot that we can actually believe and glean from Doom Slayer, because as you guys know, the big Kako Mallow leak has not yet been disconfirmed, which essentially means it's still floating in the air as one of the very few theories that has not been debunked yet. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what the Kako Mallow thing is, or want a sort of refresher and an update on the situation, Essentially, when those big leaks started to happen before the game even came out, we got a beta sort of screenshot that showed a couple of alpha texts on the screen that had Ken from Street Fighter in it before we even knew that Ken was a playable fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which was of course a big deal, it looked very official, and well, it turned out it totally was very official. He showed up in that trailer with Incineroar, that CG one, but then also, a couple of months after the game actually came out, we got a very similar looking screenshot, even including Ken in that same pose and having two me fighters on the stage wearing me hats. And these hats were a Kako Demon hat and a Mallow from Super Mario RPG hat. So Doom Slayer and Geno were supposedly characters that are coming to Smash Ultimate if these two things are to be believed, right? I mean, that's just very logical. Well, today we have a little bit more information to break down about potentially Doom Slayer coming to Smash Brothers Ultimate just because, well, Steve is now in Smash Brothers, and that means we can look back in time to kind of see what of the leaks were true, which ones of them actually mentioned Steve and to see what the future holds. And of course, I've been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and new fighters in our show Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube content? Well, whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in our next Question Blocked episode. And yes, we're starting our brand new show, Block Talk. We're doing a new series concurrently with Wind Waker. Hope you guys have been enjoying the episode. If you haven't already, please check it out because it supports this channel in a very special way and that is original and new content, also like animations and stuff. So if you guys support any other show on this channel than just Leak Speak, well, please go out and do that. All right, guys, let's head into the main topic of today and that comes to us from ScreenRant.com, very good friends over there, and James Williamson actually posts the following. Does Steve from Minecraft confirm this previous Super Smash Bros. Ultimate leak. An early Super Smash Bros. Ultimate leak correctly predicted Steve from Minecraft would join the game. But how much of that leak is actually correct? Well, another long months of waiting, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate fans were finally blessed with the announcement of a new DLC fighter. It had been four months since the addition of Min Min to Super Smash Bros., but with no future Nintendo Directs planned, fans wondered when the next character might eventually be revealed. In a surprise announcement, Nintendo unveiled Steve from Minecraft as the next DLC fighter to join Smash, and the internet went crazy, with Twitter actually crashing immediately after the reveal. This was huge news for collective fans of Smash Brothers and Minecraft, two of the most popular video games of all time, and caught many by surprise. But not exactly all. For as surprising as it is to see a character like Steve from Minecraft join the ranks of Smash Brothers, it was actually old news for some fans. One of the first leaks involving Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC characters actually predicted Steve would be joining the fight. The leak, which was first spotted on the Japanese website 5 Channel, stated that along with Steve, Erdrick from Dragon Quest, Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden, and the Doom Slayer from the Doom series would all be joining the Smash roster as DLC characters. Erdrick would eventually join the roster as one of Hero's different character skins, but due to the lack of any other character joining the roster, the leak was originally thought to be bogus. 
but with Steve now joining Smash Brothers Ultimate in its second Fighter's Pass, it's beginning to look a lot more credible. One of the most interesting bits of information to come out of Steve joining Smash Brothers is how long Nintendo had been trying to get the character in the game. According to former Mojang business developer Daniel Kaplan, Nintendo had been trying to get the rights to include Steve in the game for at least five years. This just puts into perspective how much work and how long it takes for Nintendo to get certain characters into the Smash Brothers series. It also goes to show that when Nintendo intends to include a character, they add them to the game, no matter how long it might take. So despite the leak originally hitting the internet over a year ago, it seems like time is no object when it comes to new Smash characters. Even though they haven't been added to the game yet, it doesn't mean Ryu and Doom Slayer won't be joining the game at all. Yes, there is a good chance Ryu and Doom Slayer join Smash with Min Min and, soon, Steve being added to the Smash Brothers roster that leaves four open spots remaining in the game's second Fighter's Pass. Taking a look ahead, there are some clear windows for both Ryu Hayabusa and Doom Slayer to make their way to Smash Brothers. A Hong Kong video game distributor leaked that a Ninja Gaiden trilogy is going to be released on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch this upcoming March. Meanwhile, Doom Eternal is still scheduled to release on the Nintendo Switch, but the release date remains unknown. ID Software says the game is very close, but that doesn't necessarily mean the game will be released soon. Nintendo has used Smash DLC characters as a means of cross-promotion, as they did with Hero to promote Dragon Quest XI and Byleth to promote Fire Emblem Three Houses. There's a strong possibility that Nintendo has simply been holding off on adding these two characters to Smash in order to help promote the eventual releases of their games. With Steve now headed to Smash Brothers and a new Ninja Gaiden and Doom game scheduled to release on the Switch, it's looking more and more like this original leak may be true, after all. It'll be a little while until fans know for sure, however, as Steve still has yet to even release, be sure to keep an eye out for any more potential news leading up to Steve's addition to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on October 14th. Well, I totally think that the issue here is not necessarily is this leak correct, but is this leak still up to date, right? Is the information that Vergaben shared all this time ago and all of the other players that essentially said, well, Steve is coming, and of course, Erdrick from Dragon Quest, a lot of people have been saying that, but does it actually mean that these characters are still in talks right now? Did those fall through? Is that actually what is happening right now? Well, we'll have to see if that is in actuality what has been discussed and what has been greenlit, right? I mean, is Sakurai right now playing a build that has Ryu Hayabusa in it and the Doom Slayer? All I have to say right now is that, well, while Ryu Hayabusa does make sense, the Doom Slayer makes a lot more sense just looking at that leak that happened before. I think that it makes complete sense to see that that character could eventually make its way into the game. So of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of all this news of today, right? If you comment down below, you could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, do you think Doom Slayer is going to rip and tear into Smash? And as for a previous comment question winner, our answer actually comes to us from our very own user, Luca Fiorentini, saying, keep in mind, folks, that Vergaben has not outright stated this. All he knows is that Koei Tecmo is in talks with Nintendo for a long time. It could be a Mii costume, a different character, which is unlikely, and it's even possible that nothing came of the talks. Well, Virg is reliable, he's refrained from outright confirming it. So, it's not a lock yet. Well, Luca, thank you so much for sending in your comment, and this sheds a lot of good light on the situation. Of course, yes, Vergaben has gone out and said, well, yes, the conversations actually happened, but Vergaben has also then commented on that himself, saying, and I don't think these things fall through because their business relationship is still so strong. So that I think is a very interesting case for the Doom Slayer for Smash. So thank you so much for sending in all your comments. These are always so much fun to read through. And of course, a big shout out to our latest Patreon supporters and the super chats you guys sent during live streams. You guys make block content as a channel possible. So if you wanna have yourself created in block content style or join me for a live discussion or even have your own ideas become videos, go to patreon.com slash block 
unlocked content. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, hit subscribe now, smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner with as always more blocked content. See ya.